so i just want to warn you guys i have like some slight irritation from like waxing my mustache so yeah if you guys notice that little red mark it's because my skin is a little irritated i like to use this by like swiping upwards it's really like the best way to apply this because if you drag downwards that basically causes wrinkles and you do not want that I'm gonna like drop a little bit of this and just apply this right in this area mostly i'm trying to be as gentle as possible around this area it's gonna be a little hard because i'm a little rough with my skin because i generally just don't care we're gonna use the uh watermelon juice pig juice moisturizer and this is like a super thin moisturizer and i'm gonna use it as a serum because you can use it either as a moisturizer or a serum so i'm gonna use it as a serum today for like extra moisture um because my skin is super dry and I like it to be moisturized. So yeah. This is the Tatcha water cream. And uh, yeah, they sent this to me in PR. It comes with a little like spoon type of thingy. Um, I don't really use it because I can just use my fingers. <laughs> So we're just gonna take a dollop of this water cream that much and um, I'm just gonna apply this everywhere basically and I'm gonna pat over my little allergic reaction I guess I'm not too sure I think it's a burn to be honest but um, it'll go away hopefully this is the silk the silk peony or pony i'm not too sure i pronounced that too um but yeah and it's super creamy and thick it looks like this so yeah i'm just gonna take it on my ring finger and just dab it underneath my eyes like so because i have like really bad dark circles and I have really fine lines underneath my eyes, um, especially like right here when I smile. I have like a really defined line there, so I like to apply as much eye cream as I possibly can because I'm always um, touching them because of eye makeup and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm going to take my uh, cooling water from Milk Makeup. So this is basically just a... It has like caffeine in it um i'm not too sure exactly what this does but it feels really nice underneath your eyes it's supposed to depuff your under eyes and that's what i use in the morning to depuff my eyes um or like whenever i get out of the shower because my eyes get puffy so i like to use this over um the um eye cream and i'll use it wherever like needs like some like type of cooling like my, the tip of my nose right now or like the high points of my face or like my mustache area and uh yeah i don't even know exactly what it does but it feels really nice because i put it in my fridge i have a skincare fridge which i'll show you in a second this is the sunscreen that I've been using as of recently because it's super lightweight and has a higher SPF than the unseen sunscreen and I already talk about that sunscreen so much so I don't want to say it again but I'll like leave a picture of that sunscreen so you guys know what I'm talking about since I'm in the sun You're supposed to apply this like around 20 or 30 minutes before you go into the sun but since i'm in the sun doing my skincare routine it's very counterproductive so i'm an idiot but since i'm going to just take pictures of my face so i can put it as a thumbnail um i'm just gonna leave it on and just do at least it'll do something um but yeah 
it's a very oily um, sunscreen, but I really like it because, uh, you know, oily things really work for my skin because um, mat mattifying things just don't work for me. But yeah, here's my skin look like. Super oily and radiant because of that sunscreen. As for lip care, I use a Blistex and this new Bite Beauty Serum. This lip serum, but I don't know where it is. I think I, I think I lost it to be honest. Um, I'm gonna also use this facial mist for right now because I want my skin to feel like a lot more hydrating and radiant. So this is the Watermelon Glow Ultra Fine Mist. I love the way this spritzes out. So this is it. It's just a little mist. And this stuff smells so good. Although it does separate a little bit when it's sitting, but um, it's still pretty good in my opinion. Now I'm just going to show you guys the fridge that I use. So this is the uh, Kululi fridge. They sent this to me. I don't buy much things anymore. Thank God. Um, I like to save money. So thank you to all of these brands who like to send me things. But these are all the skin products that I like to just... I like to circulate around these products a lot. So yeah. So this is a vitamin C serum. It's supposed to be for brightening and uh, radiance. And this one has collagen protection. Not too sure exactly what this does. This doesn't really do anything for me. But it's a really thick serum. Just letting you know. I have this. I did not use this today. Because I haven't used it in a while again. I'm basically using the routine that I usually use. As of recently for like the past two weeks. I've been using the routine that I just showed you guys. So I haven't used this in a while. But this one is still a pretty good thin moisturizer. I didn't use my uh, vegan milk moisturizer. I would use this definitely if this starts to get dry and like start getting dry patches. I would use this to like help that get a little bit more moisturized and um, just feel a lot better. I've also been using this at night. This is the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream. Um, this one is really nice at night. Um, I don't know, when I wake up in the morning, my skin feels all really soft and looks really good. And I really love this product because, you know, dry skin girls, you really know. When you wake up in the morning and your skin feels mad tight, this really helps at night. This is the uh, SA Lotion from Cer CeraVe. And um, it's supposed to really help with uh, exfoliating um, and protecting the skin barrier. It has salicylic acid and vitamin D in it. And it comes with a pump. I use this around my neck area and wherever I have texture, which is basically around here. So I'll just zoom in for you guys. You can't really tell on camera, but I have a lot of bumps here and it's starting to like go down a lot more with my routine. Um, but my bumps get really like textured. It feels like rough and sometimes I get it around my forehead, like around my eyebrows and around my, um, my cheekbones. And I do get a lot on my neck and like chin as well. I have a scar here. <laughs> I just put like Glossier lip gloss on just cause I felt a little naked without it. <laughs> and my lips look like, super dry. So yeah, that is my skincare routine. If you guys have any questions about certain things, you guys should definitely look at the websites instead of asking me because I don't know much about skincare if you have any questions about like skincare i'll leave some links to some like aestheticians and like skincare specialists that just you know talk about skincare and they know more about it other than me because i'm an unreliable educator so yeah okay bye guys see you guys in the next video hopefully will be about taking pictures and editing and all that so yeah <laughs>